Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got another one I want to bring to you. It's actually from an email. A sister had shared with me, and I did a video on it, and something went wrong. I'm not real sure what it was. But, um, okay, this is, this is her email. And I was hoping the picture I chose was going to show instead of it. But I'll read it to you. You'll read along with me, okay? She says, Dear Sister, I don't know if anybody else is going through intense spiritual attacks. If you're living right, you should be. I'm just going to put it right out there. If you're doing what God wants you to do and you're either bringing souls to Christ, keeping them from doing stuff to, that would send them to hell, getting them to repent and stop believing once saved, always saved, and, you know, teaching them, or, you know, whether it's through YouTube or another platform, or you're doing it face-to-face, -face, if you're living right. And believe you me, if you're delivering demons from people, you're going to be attacked, okay? <laughs> All right, just saying. All right. I don't know if anybody else is going through intense spiritual attacks, but things are heating up around me in my home. I should say, a couple of nights ago, I was trying to watch a movie with my husband, and a demonic entity took over the TV and started speaking through it and saying things that were not even in the movie. Watch this, watch this clip. Okay, she sent me a clip, and I could not get it to play. I, I, there's no link attached. If I could get it to play, see, you could, oh, she wanted to remain anonymous. Hope you didn't see that. Okay, see, there's two little symbols here. If you're watching, you're seeing this. This is what I got. Let me click on this. <gasps> Couldn't preview file. There was a problem. Okay. See now. Video player for Google Drive. We're doing this in real time. How about that, folks? All right. Let's see if we can play it in here. Because she. Somehow they record. They went back. You know how you have those. I, we used to have one when I had TV with my ex-husband. DVR players. Log in and authorize. Log in. I see. I don't. I I. I don't like sites that make me log in. I don't want to belong to every site on the internet. All right. Get a video audio file from Google Drive. See, to me, this this might as well be Greek. This is Greek to me. I don't understand it. So I'm just going to exit out and continue reading. So this is what happened to me before. I cloud convert. See, I have an iCloud account from when I had when I had my MacBook Pro. All my excess old stuff went up in the cloud for 99 cents a month. And I don't know how to get it back to put it on this computer because it's not an apple and so anyway i'm just going to continue reading i'm sorry sis that i don't know better or download maybe i, I oh wait wait save file let's try this oh let's try this open with video player youtube uploader Cloud convert. See, I just was there. I was just there. And I don't have a login. Okay, so we're going to exit out of there. How do I get back? See, I wanted to put this picture, which is now in my pictures. And where is my email? My email is gone. I have to come completely out of here. I'm sorry, I'm so there. I'm so inept. I I I don't. I I don't know technical stuff very well. If you don't teach me. So let's okay. So I can't play you the video. 
I forgot that she said she sent a clip, but she describes it, so I'll read it. All right, this entity took over the TV and started speaking through it and saying things that were not even in the movie. Watch this clip. Your spirit will bear witness with what you are about to hear, as there is no other reasoning that your spirit could come up with than the fact that you are hearing a demon speak. I know when I hear a demon speak. They sound growly. It's not like a normal voice. Before listening, I urge you to put on the full armor of God and pray Psalm 91 and to warn others if you share to do the same. Before listening to this audio, I'm sorry I don't know how to play it, so I don't know how to share it. Just know that this kind of stuff is happening. So if it's happening to you, don't think you're crazy. All right? That's why I'm sharing it. Warn others to do the same. Y'all better be doing your spiritual warfare over your house. Pleading the blood of Jesus. Anointing your doorways. Some may even do all the windows. I plead the blood over everything. Everything. Walls, windows, doors, ceilings, floors, rooftop, and everything attached. Uh... I anoint the, my little door, one door, into the studio once in a while because I plead the blood every night over myself, my dog, inside and out, over every cell in our body. Where I ask him to let his blood flow through mine to continue healing, continue my physical healing now that I've been delivered of all my demons because of grafted in Team Jesus. Okay. And God, of course. They were just a the tool that God used. I had to want it. I had to be in cooperation with it. I had to want them gone. They've tried to do deliverances on people that didn't really want to lose their friends and get out of the world. So it didn't work. Okay, you can tell. People who are in deliverance ministries can tell. They might think on the surface, yeah, I want to be rid of this. But they don't really want to give it up. Whatever it is, it's, it could be a demon of alcoholism, addiction, something like that. Let's move on. So put on the full armor of God. I do that. I plead the blood of God. I plead the blood of Jesus over all of my pieces of armor. I consider it on me all the time. I take up my shield of faith so I can extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. I take up my sword, which is the very word of God, quick. And I actually do the movements quick to uh, divide the lies from the truth. See, the way I finish it off is it, I, it's basically from Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 2. I'm sorry, Ephesians 2. Ephesians 6. Oh, come on. I know this by heart. It's one or the other. If I go off of here, hold on. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Let's open a new tab. Let me go to Bible. Whoops, wrong. That was the weather. We'll do that next. When I'm done, little Jasper, I'll check the weather, okay? And we'll go outside. Okay. Oh, it's 79. Okay, and not right, uh we have a little chance of rain. All right, we didn't really want to go there, so I have to exit out. I thought I could just click Blue Letter Bible, but it didn't work. Okay. Blue Letter Bible, Ephesians 6. That's got to be it. I know that's it, but I have to make sure. All right. E P H. Six, and I think it starts with 12. It's for our, for our battle is not against flesh and blood. It is against the powers and principalities in the high places and in the heavenlies. See, there's a, where God is, it's the third heaven, where they, the demons, or the fallen angels and Satan got kicked down to is the second heaven. So there's, they were in the heavenlies if they hadn't already been kicked out and are already down here. Okay. 
Yes. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That's like, uh, well, anyway, that's Satan and his fallen angels and demons. Against the powers, same. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That would be the Illuminati and the people they've taken over. They're, they're either possessed or so fully oppressed, serving Satan, Satanists, things like that, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And they probably also already blasphemed the Holy Spirit so badly. They can't repent anyway. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, which is we are in that time now. It is not one single 24-hour day. It is this time period that we're living in. And having done all to stand. Verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. See, I start from head to toe. I just kind of do it a little backwards. But I'm going to read you this. And, and your feet shod, let's see, the breastplate of righteousness, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, once you put it on, it shouldn't have to be put on again, but if, if you want to go through the motions every day, you can do that. Or just say it. Or just read this. Meaning it. Mean it. Picture it on yourself. Alright. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Where I get the quick to divide the lies from the truth is from another verse. That's in the Bible. You can look that up. Just type in and do a search. Scripture quick to divide lies from truth and you should get it. You'll pull up a variety of Bible types, versions you can choose. And anyway, let's move on. So praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Capital S. This is not even the NASB and they've capitalized the word Spirit. You're praying in the Spirit. So if you can't, you need to be asking Jesus, please Lord, give me this gift. Please let your Holy Spirit fill me to the brim. Fill me full. Please let me be able to pray in the Spirit. See, this is where I've lost a lot of subscribers preaching about this. But you should be wanting to pray in the Spirit. Alright. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Keep in mind, if people have already... Let's just say the wheat and the tares are being divided right now. The tares looking and acting a whole lot like the wheat. But they're taking, they're uh, eating the cookies. And so they're over here. That's two videos ago. They're not trusting God to keep them well. They're not trusting God to get them another job. They're not trusting God to feed them, clothe them, house them. So they get filled with fear and take it. Do you get my, my drift? Okay. I can't seem to pray without getting too loud. I'm sorry. I pray that doesn't bother you. I'm just very passionate about that subject. So for the rest, you pray for all the saints. Okay? And for me... So they're no longer a saint if they've done that. Okay, verse 19, And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. 
That's kind of my verse right there. I didn't used to be bold. I was meek. I was a meek. What's the word? Uh, I was shy. I was like a little mouse. I would listen to people argue. You're not kind of arguing or discussing something. This one would have it almost right. This one had it wrong. And I could, I could have spoke up and said, Look, guys, gals, whatever. This is the truth of it all. The Bible says, blah, blah, blah. Or it might not have even been a Bible something. It could have been something about something they had on sale at a store. And I knew exactly what the details were. And they both had it wrong. Or, But I wouldn't speak up because I was not bold. I didn't ever want to look like I was being contentious. And I, I still have to be careful about that because I don't want to be contentious with another saint over differences in uh, opinions. There is, there's right and there's wrong, but there are certain verses where you can have an opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't affect your salvation. If you believe, like for instance, I believe the earth is flat. I believe all these people, oh, I can't even think of his name. I used to watch his videos a lot. Skiba, Rob Skiba, they, they would go out on ships with huge levels and the level never, the bubble never tilted. I mean, and they'd send weather balloons up really, really high and they could see as far as it could go and do all these different things. and. But that's not what convinced me. When I prayed, was praying and praying and praying and praying and praying about, what's the earth flat? I said, are these guys nuts or is it really flat? He said, go back to the beginning. And I went to Genesis 1-1. And when I got to the part about the firmament, dividing the waters from the waters, my mind could picture it perfectly. Anyway, that's one subject. I'm a flat earther, but I belong to grafted in Team Jesus, and they don't. We just don't discuss it. It's not a salvation issue. It doesn't matter. Brother Dan got a vision of being brought up to heaven, looking down, and to him, the earth looked like a globe. Okay, moving on. All right. So, I'm going to stop it there because the rest is, uh, is just Paul speaking some more. And, and you should just read all that. But basically, I read you the armor. Okay? You need to be re putting on your armor. All right. Or pleading the blood of Jesus over it. All right. Every day. Every day. Every day. All right. So, watch the clip. Your spirit will bear witness. Uh, put on the full armor of God. Pray Psalm 91. I have heard demonic voices that sound like this three other times in my life. And my husband, one other time, when his uncle was doing a deliverance, you can clearly hear the entity say, She's talking about in this clip. You, she said, you can hear it clear. The entity say, quote, Hey, daddy's home. Ha, 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 ha. Unquote. It would, it would sound something like that. It wouldn't sound like, a, you know, a regular man saying it. I'm sure of it. We went back and we played the movie. That script is not in the movie. I rebuked it. And when it first start when it first started, I looked at my husband and I said, quote, This is a mockery. Unquote. You can hear me in a video say, What in the F did he just say? Question mark. Forgive me for saying that. I didn't say the actual curse word, but as you could tell, we were really caught off guard. Yeah, I understand, sister. I said a couple words, not in, not out loud to people, but in my mind, even when I think it in my mind, because I'm playing out a 
potential discussion I might have with somebody and uh, a bad word will come in here. I'm like, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry I even thought that word. <laughs> okay. So we all mess up. Just repent. Accept the forgiveness. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> I, I have to get in the right place to read. Okay. She said, forgive me for saying that. I didn't say the actual curse word but as you could tell we were really caught off guard i had to take a moment to go downstairs to ask god what had happened he told me quote derision unquote not knowing what that word meant i looked it up and it means quote mockery unquote I'm curious to know what kind of attacks other members in the body of Christ are going through. It seems that Satan is trying to distract and mock to throw us all off. Yes, absolutely. That's in the Bible. The Satan is going to be working hard to wear down the saints. The word is wear down. I could try to look that up, but I'm going to finish this email. Heavenly Father says that we have the authority. So I will stand against this and I will continue moving forward in Christ. If you can share this, please do so. When I show the video, wait, no. That's not a typo. She said, when I slow the video clip down, you can also clearly see there is a demonic entity that appears beside the left corner of the TV. It's a face and it moves. It's unmistakable what is going on here. This clearly will show people that the battle we are facing is not of flesh and blood and that the spirit world exists. This one is a doozy, so if you do not mind, for now I would like to remain anonymous concerning this issue. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, well, she says the last sentence, this clip most certainly speaks for itself. Look, you got a spirit trying to get in through your television set. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. People, all of you that still watch television, you have an open door. You have an open door for this kind of thing to come into your home and disturb you. It might not do anything but try to scare you. It might try to get you uh, so fearful. See, we are not to fear. Perfect love casts out fear. That's a scripture. Look it up. Worry is, there's a spirit of worry that could get, get into you if you let it. If you start worrying why did this happen? Why did the Spirit get in my house? Lord, am I not holy enough? Lord, do I not read my Bible enough? Lord, do I not pray enough? You may do all that. But are you still watching TV? What were you watching? Now, I'm not just getting on to her. It might have been a, a Discovery Channel on, on giraffes in Africa. Perfectly fine. But, but, again... There are commercials that are not fit for adults to watch, if you know what I mean. I would never watch the news anymore. They are liars, liars, liars straight up, and they know it. They aren't just reading a script and thinking this is what's happening. They know it. And the father of lies, as you all know, it, is Satan. So you might want to consider getting rid of that thing and just 
If you need family entertainment, try Monopoly. I'm serious. Scrabble, cards, read your